kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. This morning, it is Friday 13th of November. The theme is still gentleness for the week and the sub-theme for today is wisdom from above is gentle. Based on the scripture, James 3 verse 17 and the Tate family will be doing the devotion this morning. I pray God's blessings over you as you listen to his word and live according to it. God bless you. Today's devotion is about gentleness. Our scripture reading is taken from the book of James, chapter 3, verse 17. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Gentleness. Clothe yourself in gentleness. Galatians 3 verse 12. Everyone knows a police officer. You can tell by the uniform he or she wears. Many others are distinguishable by their dress. Except, uh, example, military, fire and security staff. Christians, says Paul, should be distinguishable by their garment of gentleness. Gentleness is the even-tempered bearing that comes from that comes when people of passion allow the Holy Spirit to curb their quick tempers. So Christ has, has seemed to be gentle Jesus, meek and mild. But he was not devoid of passion. He controlled his passion perfectly and used it to great effect when he unleashed his strength in driving the money changers out of the temple. But before Pilate, he knew no fear. The truly gentle person is strong when it is necessary, but keeps a tight rein on passion at all times. Such gentleness is also a mark of personal emotional, emotional maturity. It is strength and sweetness combined. Many people, especially strong ones, have difficulty in controlling their tempers. If you have this problem, bring your passion to Christ, admit to Him and to yourself that it has been a problem. Then ask him to come in and put the brake on. Ask him to show you where you can direct this energy so that it will be used creatively and constructively. Only when you submit yourself to Christ will you channel your strength into positive and useful ministry for him. St. Peter, a quick-tempered disciple, brought his temperament into subjection to Christ and became the leader of the early Christian church. You can become gentle as well. Lord God, control and use my temper till I become wise and useful servant for you. Jesus is a gentle, is gentle in heart, in time recreate us in his image. Father God, we thank you Lord Jesus. We thank you for this day that you made us able to do the devotion today, Lord, for us to encounter our spirit on you, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you do for us, your love, your peace, your gentleness, and your kindness. Dear Father God, we ask to bless each and every one who's listening to this devotion this morning. May they have a special blessing, Lord, and Give us the peace and understanding of your word and your love. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the light that shines every day. Thank you, Lord Jesus, just to think that we can open our eyes every day and you grant us with blessings from above for healing, for spiritual growth and everything, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We ask, Lord, be with each and every one. Lord, we think of those pe those people that's in hospitals. We think of those people in inter institutions. And we also think of people that is in jails, Lord. We ask them to ask you to be with them. Lord, there's a need all over, especially with this coronavirus, Lord. And we ask, Lord, to please, please give us a cloud of a 
lining that silver so that we can see light again after this dark cloud of corona. Bless us now, Jesus, and be with our community, be with our ministers, be with our, the people that runs this country, Lord. Give them the necessary wisdom to obey your word and to keep up with your good things. We ask this not because we're worthy, but in your Holy Spirit and in your name. Amen. 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 Amen.